With State Superintendent of Education Molly Spearman not seeking re-election later this year, the office is up for grabs in November. This week, we sit down with the candidates who could soon be in charge of your child's education. Tonight, our Jason Raven speaks with Palmetto Promise Institute CEO Ellen Weaver, the Republican nominee for State Superintendent. How will you work uh, with the General Assembly to kind of implement some of these ideas? After a primary runoff victory in late June, Republican Ellen Weaver says she'll help turn things around in South Carolina if elected state superintendent of education. We have never had a greater opportunity um, to choose the direction that South Carolina education is going to go. I feel like for far too long we have been satisfied with the status quo. Weaver is the president and CEO of conservative think tank Palmetto Promise Institute. She also served as the chairwoman of the South Carolina Education Oversight Committee, stepping down from that role after she announced her campaign. Over the last few months, Weaver has been working to get her master's degree, a requirement to hold the state superintendent office in South Carolina. It is something that has been really formative in my experience of this campaign. I feel like it's been a boot camp uh, for the job that I am preparing to do. And so I've been hard at work um, ever since I started, had no summer vacation. So uh, I can empathize with all those students who were in summer school. Um, but yes, we are on track to complete that in October. It's a degree in educational leadership uh, through my alma mater, Bob Jones University. It's a fully accredited online program. Weaver has the backing of dozens of Republican state lawmakers along with Senator Tim Scott. Now we sat down with Weaver to discuss her recently announced students, teachers and parents plan. She's calling this the STP plan. Good policy is the motor oil that keeps the engine of our education system running. Weaver says as state superintendent, she would focus on what she calls foundational skills, invest in mental health and mentoring and celebrate all pathways for students after high school. We know that our students are struggling um, after the isolation that many of them experienced during COVID. And so working intentionally as the governor is doing to bring new resources to the table to ensure that our students are fully supported. Weaver says under her plan, she would increase teacher pay to the national average within five years, improve teacher prep and make teachers jobs easier. We have got to make sure that teachers and parents are on the same side of the page because that's how we're ultimately going to work together to do the one thing that matters which is support students in their learning. Weaver says the best way to empower parents in South Carolina is to give them true school choice. She's a supporter of education savings accounts, the use of public money for things like private school tuition, textbooks, or school supplies. I believe that money should follow the child, that when we're talking about a definition of public education, it means an education that truly serves the public, a public that is truly educated. Weaver says her time on the Education Oversight Committee has helped her understand the problems facing South Carolina, and she believes on day one she'll have the relationships needed to get things done. In Columbia, Jason Raven, 7 News. You watched the full interview with Weaver, and if you missed yesterday's story with Democratic candidate Lisa Ellis, head to our website, WSPA.com. They're both there.